Hi everybody, it's Miranda here. Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. Um, I'm going to start Wellness Wednesdays with a little affirmation. I have my little affirmation deck here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle. And let's see, how are, how are you all? Um, who am I saying hi to? Nasara and Crystal, hi. <laughs> okay, let me shuffle these affirmation cards and pick one for today before we begin. Let's see what we have. I love to randomly shuffle these cards and pick one. Oh, it says, I plan my day in a way that flows. Plan your day with care. You don't run around aimlessly. While you do your errands, go about your work day and deal with your family. Plan ahead so you can complete your tasks. That's a good one. That's just a random affirmation for the day. It's fun. I like to do that with affirmations and also with books. So I like to flip to random pages with books. Um, so anyway, welcome, as I was saying, to Wellness Wednesdays. Today we have a special guest, Jasmine, and um, I'll tell, talk about her in a minute, but first I wanted to say thank you all for joining last week. Last week was um, Guru Mook, which I had um, a Kundalini session with Guru Mook, and actually she had some bad uh, cell um, um, Wi-Fi connection, so I've asked her to actually record herself and then she's going to um, send that to me and then I can upload it onto Instagram TV so that then everybody can watch and get the benefits because that practice of hers is really, really powerful. So for today, I'm going to be having um, Jasmine. Jasmine is a friend of mine and she started this, well, we've been friends now for over five years actually. And um, we met on a photo shoot and her boyfriend, Juan, is actually really good friends with my husband, Evan, so we see each other a lot. And so um, she started this wonderful account with her friend, Josephine, and um, she has wonderful fitness regimes and little fitness workouts on there. And so I thought, what a wonderful time to connect with her, to give you guys a glimpse of what they're doing on their account is called jo Joja. And um, I'm gonna get her to, hold on, I'm gonna connect with her here in a minute. If, um, let me say hi everyone. I'd like to say hi to everyone while I'm waiting. Uh, hi, let's see. Oh, there she is. She's just signed on. Let's see where. Hi Labino. Hi. Hi Suf Chang from Taiwan. Okay, let's see. I don't see your request, Jasmine. I might need you to get to sign in and sign off and sign back in. Hold on. One second. The technicalities here. Let's see. You can ask me a question while I'm waiting for Jasmine to come on if you like. I'm here to answer your questions. Hi Vibud from India. Hi Nika. Flynn Hart and Miles are doing very well, Anna. Thanks for asking. They're very sweet. Um, Flynn is nine and so he's been super helpful and he's also um, obviously been, you know, doing his school homework from home. But when he's not doing that, he's been helping me with doing all the washing and <laughs> helping me pack and unpack the dishwasher. And Miles is so cute. I'm carrying him around in the harness a lot. and. Heart is amazing. He's so curious. He's always running around everywhere. Um, he's almost two. Oh, hi from Port Macquarie. Hi, Sharon from Port Macquarie, New South Wales. Jasmine, please try again because I can't see your request here. 
Um, heart has blue eyes. They're even more blue than my eyes, like a lighter blue actually. And Miles's eyes are kind of like a mixture of like between my eyes and Evan's eyes. I'm just answering a few questions here. I will save this video. I'm hoping that I see Jasmine's request here and I don't see it. It says sent. Sometimes when people are doing lots of requests to be in the video, you miss it. So I don't see Jasmine. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Um, you have some really great pieces. You guys should check out Lily Clasp. She's here. She has some really great. Okay. Let me see if I can add in Jasmine. One second. Go live with Jasmine. Add. Waiting. There she is. Hi. <laughs> I'm just here talking to myself. I'm like, oh. I know. I'm like, request, request, request. Sometimes Instagram just makes it a little difficult. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep talking and answering people's questions. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, all I want to do is do your workout. Oh, my I'm, gosh. I'm so excited to have you on Wellness Wednesday. Thanks, Thanks for joining me. me. I'm excited to be on and show you some of my favorite butt and ab workouts that I like. Yeah. To do. I personally like to focus on the butt and the abs when I do my workout. So I was like, when I spoke to you, I was like, can we do a butt and abs workout? Yeah, of course. I think that's like the key spot for women that they love to like hit all the time. So tell me um, a little bit about how you and Josephine came up with this account, this fitness account. Yeah. So it was kind of something to just came out of nowhere. We weren't really thinking to start one, but we were on set with Victoria's Secret shooting sport actually. And we both found that we had such a love for like health and fitness. So one day after work, we're like, why don't we share with the world our love for fitness and kind of what we do to stay fit. And we saw that a lot of girls were sometimes scared to go to the gym or, you know, couldn't afford to do certain things. So we wanted to share what we'd learned um, with the world. So we started it and we think it's a great place to share like positive vibes and really great energy. And it's been a lot of fun. And it's called Joja, right? Joja, yeah. Josephine and Jasmine. So Joja. Yes. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. And where is Josephine right now? Josephine is actually in Nashville. She has a house there. So she's been quarantined there and we've been FaceTiming our workouts together. So it's been great. How are That's you doing? So I'm good. You know, with the kids running around and staying very busy. That's why I was very much looking forward to our little workout. Heart's having yeah. his nap now, so that's good. Oh, yes. And, I'm um, sure you've been so busy with them chasing them around. Yeah. And my mom has miles, so that's... Oh, great. Very sweet. That's so yeah. sweet. So I guess, I mean, apart from working out, like, what other kind of... Do you have any other health and wellness little self-care activities that you do? Um, you know, one thing I've really been focusing on during this time is taking care of my skin. Um, because I feel like when I'm always on the go and traveling, it's hard to keep up a routine. So while I'm home, you know, I haven't been wearing much, much makeup. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing a lot of face masks using your Same. products, of course. Uh, <laughs> the turmeric brightening one is like my all-time favorite. Do you so I've been use walking... that in the, in the shower? You're talking about this one, right? Yes, that one. So I use it in the shower or sometimes I'll leave it on just during the day, like running around the house. Mm -hmm. And Juan, my boyfriend, so good. Me, like, what are you doing? <laughs> it smells amazing. By the way, he should use it. Evan uses I it. Know. I know. I try and get him to use the products. He's just like, one day I'm going to get him to use it. Yeah, no, he's going to, he will love it. Yeah. I think that's a great thing. It's good for men and women. But, and by the way, I've been focusing more on skincare and you know, hardly wearing makeup, except for a little bit yeah. here and yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sometimes you need like a little bit just to like feel really good and fresh, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But I feel like makeup sits better when your skin is glowing and dewy. Definitely. I always tell people that skincare is like the first real important base to your makeup looking well, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so should we get into this workout? I'm excited. Let's get into it. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah, is everyone ready? And I've got to make sure that yeah, Matt make is positioned. Sure that we're in the right place. Let's see here. There we go. I think that's okay. I might have to move my mat a little bit back. I might move mine down a bit. Like that. And guys, for this workout, you don't need any equipment. Oh, um, yeah, sorry. I should have said that. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, you just need like a nice soft surface that you have or a yoga mat like you're using. And that's it. So should we get started? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so I'm going to put on a little music. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. It probably won't be too loud because I still want to make sure I can hear you, but just yeah. a little something. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. Okay. So first we're going to start with like your typical donkey kick. Okay. With an extension. So you're going to get down, down on all fours. And we're going to start with the left leg. So we're going to make sure our core is tight. Relax your shoulders, and then you're going to kick your leg up into a donkey kick and extend. And that's one. Back in and down. And you go up for two. Extend. Down. Up for three. Extend. In. Four. Up. Extend. In. Five. Three more. Up. Extend. In, six, up, extend, in, seven, last one, up, extend, in, eight. Perfect. Good. Great. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do a fire hydrant with a straight kick back. So it looks like this. You're going to go out, fire hydrant, and then you're going to kick straight back. And we're going to do those for eight. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Fire hydrant, and then kick back. One. Can I do that? Yeah, perfect. Two. Out. Three. Out. Four. Out. Five. Out. Six. Two more. Out. Seven. Last one. Eight. Perfect. Now, we're going to go into a straight leg kickback. So you're going to take the same leg, and you're going to put it straight back, and you're going to bring it at a diagonal over your other leg. Then we're going to kick up to the top, so it looks like this, and we bring it down. So we're going to do those for eight. Ready? One, and back. Two, three, four, five, six, should be burning, yeah. <laughs> seven, eight, and you can stretch it out. Now we're going to keep on the same leg. This is the last one for this leg, and then we'll switch okay. legs. So we're going to go on all fours again, straighten your leg, and you're going to do eight mini circles, and then eight mini circles the opposite way. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch direction. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay. So that's it for the one side. Now we're going to go to the other leg and do the exact same thing. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with the donkey kick with the extension. So that was the one where you go straight up and then you kick your leg out. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. One, out, in, down. Two, out. In, down. Three, out, in, down. Four, extend, in, down. Five, out, in, down. Six, out, in, down. Seven, out, in, down. Eight, out, in, down. 
Perfect. Now we're going to do the one that was a fire hydrant with a kickback. So it looks, I'm going to show you on this side, okay. out and kick back. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right, let's go. Out, straight kick back. Really squeeze your glute at the top and squeeze. Three. Out. Eight. Perfect. And so after that, it's the one where we do the straight leg and we cross it over and kick it to the opposite corner. So we start over here, cross over your leg. Perfect. We're going to pick up one. And now two. Ground. Three. By the way, you have to correct me if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Woo! Oh, we have wow. one more on that side. Feels good. Feels good, right? These Feel are my favorite. Like fun. I do these all the time. Like when I don't use any equipment, it's great because you really feel it. Yeah, no wonder you've got such a good uh, physique. <laughs> <laughs> you too, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, I have done barely anything since in the last two years by having two babies back to back. Well, I feel like you have a pretty good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> They're worth it. They're definitely worth it. <laughs> all right, so let's go into back on all fours and we're going to do the little circles. So you're going to straighten your leg and we're going to do eight circles to one direction and eight to the next. So one, two, Three, really squeeze your butt. Five, six, seven, eight, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. They so great. I love those. All right, so next we're going to take a break from being on all fours and we're going to lay on our side. So here you can lay, I'm going to lay on my right side. You can lay whichever side you prefer to start. And you can either lay flat down like this, or you can keep your neck propped up with your arm. I'm going to just move my mat a little there. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to place our hand here on the mat. And this is going to help you not to roll forward or roll backwards. You want to try and keep yourself really stable here. We're going to bend our legs in. And we're going to make a little check mark. So you're going to tap your top knee to your other knee. And then you're going to kick back. And really squeeze. Let's go for eight. One. Two. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze. Four. Squeeze. Five. Six, seven, eight. Perfect. Then you're going to keep that leg up and bring it forward straight in line with your other knee. And you're just going to do little lifts for eight. One, two, three. Up and down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now we're going to switch to the other side. Yeah, sometimes you feel that burn. Yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing this workout with us and feeling your booty burn and getting tight. Yes. How do you come up with all of these moves? You know, luckily, I mean, you have had the same, working with like tons of amazing trainers and um, I've kind of just taken what I can and learned and put them into my routine, so. And so you just found your favorite things that you've liked and you just like incorporate those ones. Yeah, I make sure that I write them down or like sometimes I'll see workouts on Instagram and I'll screenshot them like, oh my God, I have to try this. And then when I try it, I end up loving it. I just keep it in my routine. Right now you've you made it, yeah, you've made it into something that works for you, which is great. Exactly. All right, so now we're gonna do same thing. Place your hand in front, bend your legs. And you're gonna tap your knee and kick back for one. Tap, 
two. Tap. Really squeeze your butt when you get back. Four. Five. Tap. Six. Tap. Seven. Tap. Eight. Great. Keep your leg up and bring it forward in line with your other leg. And you're going to lift small for eight. Up. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now for our last butt move before we go to abs. This one I love. You lay on your stomach. And you really want to keep your neck loose. So I'm going to show you like this so I can see. But basically you're going to lift one leg up. Squeeze your glute, lift the other leg up, squeeze, up, squeeze. And I like to keep my head down. You can either go like this or with your head face down. Like this? So, exactly. And just make sure you squeeze every time to really feel it. So we're going to do eight for each side. Ready? One, two, three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five, six, Seven, eight, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Yay. Yay. So the butt part is done. I can feel it. And now we'll go into abs. By the way, how often do you work out? Like every day? No, not every day. I try to do uh, like five days a week on a on a good five days a week on a good time on a good day, but normally it ends up probably being about three or four. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to like get into the routine and stay in the routine. Mm-hmm. Like I find myself. But always when you do it, it's bad like you feel so much better. You feel so much better and also like Whenever I get into like the mood of not working out, I also feel like really lazy and tired and like my body just doesn't feel good. So it's kind of, I remind myself of how I feel when I do work out and that makes me get the motivation to want to at least do something, even if it's like for 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, even like that's why I said like this 30 minute workout, yeah. is, it feels more like, oh, okay, I can do 30 minutes as opposed to like dedicating a whole hour. Exactly. You don't, like, I feel like a lot of people, they work out and they completely, like, exhaust themselves and do tons of, like, insane, crazy cardio where you're just killing your body. And I feel like it's okay to do these, like, nice, slower movements and just really feel everything. Yeah. Great. I'm excited for the abs. Yes, let's get into the abs. All right, so first we're just going to start with your, like, regular crunch, but we're going to do them really slowly. One second. This song is kind of sad. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what song it was, but it was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just going to lay down like this. And you're going to go really slowly and crunch up. And down. Two. Down. Three, squeeze, down, four, down, five, down, we're doing ten of these, six, down, seven, and down, eight, two more, nine, down, ten. All right. Now we're going to go to plank step outs. So you're going to go in the plank position. I prefer to be on my elbows. And me too. Okay. So you're going to go into a plank like this. And we're going to step out with each foot. So we're going to step out, in, out, in. Okay. 
We're gonna do eight. <laughs> Are you ready? I hate plates. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, they're, they're so good. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's go out. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Two more. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Planks are the worst. Yeah, but they're, they really do work. Yeah, they're the best. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Okay, so this one's nice. We're gonna sit with our legs crossed. And we're gonna do little ballet twists, okay? So if you'd like, you can hold your water bottle for an extra added weight. I have these little hand weights with me, so I'm gonna hold these. I'm a little water bottle with rose quartz crystals in the middle. Oh, I love that. I want to get one of those. I'll have to send you one. Yeah, that's so cool. All right, so we're going to go into like beautiful ballet arms, and you're going to twist to the left and squeeze, and then back to the center, and to the right, back to the center. That's one, again. Center. That's two. Really squeeze. Middle. Right. Three. Four. Squeeze. Middle. Right. Five. Three more. Squeeze. Six. Middle. Seven. Last one. Squeeze. Eight. Ah. How good. I love that one. Yeah. Okay, so this next one kind of messes with your mind. When I do it, I'm like, my body doesn't know what to do, but it's also really nice. So you're okay. gonna lay, it's called a dead bug. So you're gonna lay with your legs at 90 degrees and your arms up, and I can show you. So you're gonna put your right leg straight and you're gonna bring your left arm back. Like this? Exactly. Then you come back up and then you switch. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Right leg, left arm back first. Okay, yes. One. Yeah, <laughs> one. Then switch. Perfect. And keep your other arm up. Two. Two. These feel good. Three. Yes. Three. Really squeeze your abs. Four. Four. Five. Five. Oh no, we lost our music. <laughs> Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Last one. Eight. And squeeze. Eight. Oh, perfect. I like that. I love it. I really like like the slower ab movements. I feel that I feel it a little bit more when I'm like focusing on every muscle. All right, so next we have L drops. So these ones, you guys watching, you can either go on your elbows like this and tuck your butt under and alternate your legs, or you can lay flat if that bothers your back and kind of put your hands a little bit under your butt and, and you're slowly gonna drop your legs. Alrighty, let me see if I can yeah. see that. Okay, we have music again. Okay, so we're gonna do those for eight, and we're gonna do it slowly. 
So drop, ready, one, hold, switch, one, switch, two, switch, two, three, three, squeeze your abs, four, don't forget to breathe. Sometimes I hold my breath and I forget to breathe. Four, yeah. Okay. Okay, so ready? Let's go. One, two, three. 
It was definitely a workout for me. Yeah. I know you oh were God, going easy, like you were making it so that, you know, it was easy for everyone, including myself, getting, just getting back into working yeah. out. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. But if people want to do more of your workouts, they can go to your account. Yeah, so you can go to our Joja account and we post daily workouts every day that you can do at home so you don't need any equipment. Um, we also have like our YouTube channel where we do workouts that you can actually follow along with us, which is really fun. So, yeah. So do you, how do we go to YouTube? We would just search. Jay yeah, so our YouTube, our YouTube is linked on our Instagram account and it's just the name Joja on YouTube, but our link is there like right in our bio right on the account yeah and we will save this video just in case Perfect. people want to watch it again yeah i love that i know i'll watch it again sometimes i watch back our live streams and i do them like with myself <laughs> yeah that's funny though because it's it's always good to kind of do it do it again and yeah i don't know and then like each time you do it you can add like an ankle weight and then you can get heavier ankle weights and it makes it more and more hard every time yeah see i didn't even realize my rose quartz in here do you see yeah it makes my bottle even more like a weight yeah it's perfect literally anything you can find around the house i've seen people like using paper plates on their carpet as gliders to do legs yeah like books you can hold anything um as a weight and get do you know what i've been doing for that. exercise when what? i'm mopping the floor yeah um and i learned this from my mum. i get little old towels so after yeah. i'm mopped i then yeah get the towels and use them as gliders oh, to that's so good. dry the floor. Yeah, that's so sweet. <laughs> You're going around your house. So I'm running around the house and Evan's looking at me like, what are you doing? And I'm like gliding around the floor and I've got miles yeah. on me. That's perfect. I love that. It's pretty funny. That's a great workout. It really is. <laughs> I learned that one from my mom. I love that. Oh, man, I'm wondering, is there anything else you want to share before we uh leave our live stream oh gosh i don't know i just one thing i hope is that you guys all are staying home and staying safe and also want to say thank you to all of the first responders out there doing all of the work because without them we would be getting nowhere so i really appreciate it and i hope you guys know that like you don't have to be doing a super intense workout to feel like you did something you can take 10 minutes or five minutes out of your day and just Mop the floors like Miranda, or you know, <laughs> follow a workout that you love online, or I don't know, just anything to move your body. I think it's really amazing, and it'll keep your spirits high because working out really like it releases a lot of endorphins. So yeah, and you actually, I know it makes me feel good. <laughs> you don't need that much space. Like we did a lot yeah. just there and then without exactly. that much space. So yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Well, thank it's you, Jasmine. I really appreciate it. I miss you. I know. Um, I miss you, too. I can't wait till we can all see each other again. Yeah. Aww. Well, say hi to Juan from us. I will. Say hi to your family. I will. All right. All right. Bye. Thank you for thank having you. me. Thanks for being on. Bye. <laughs> Bye.